Dr. Wanda Koshesky, an Extension Nutrition Specialist here at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. Thanksgiving is fast approaching and soon we will be sitting down with family and friends enjoying a Thanksgiving meal. However, research has shown that the average American eats around 3,000 calories in that meal alone and around 5 to 6,000 calories throughout Thanksgiving Day. Dr. Georgia Jones, an Extension Food Specialist here at the University, is going to give us some tips on how to keep the flavor but cut the calories in Thanksgiving meal. Georgia? Thanks, Dr. Kuchesky. Thanksgiving meal is all about the food, and green bean casserole makes an appearance in most Thanksgiving meals. Green bean casserole is usually loaded with fat, loaded with calories, and sodium. So let's talk about how you can get rid of some of those calories but keep the flavors. You do not have to use cream of mushroom soup in your green bean casserole. You can start with a reduced fat sour cream and use your, make your own sauce. If you have to use higher fat ingredients, and ingredients are also higher in sodium, use them sparingly. Use them for flavor and use them for texture. So I don't have to give up my onions, I just have to cut back on them. Correct. We still want flavor, we still want texture, we still want good food. And if you also want to cut even more calories, cut back on the green bean casserole and use a green bean salad. Would you like to try it? Delicious. Thank you. Perfect for Thanksgiving Day. The other issues with Thanksgiving is the cranberry sauce. Cranberry sauce does not necessarily have to come in a can. Cranberry sauce is nothing more than cranberries with a little bit of sugar. If you want to increase the nutritional value even more, add some fruits. Grapefruits, bananas, pears, apples are all good choices for a cranberry salad. So Georgia, if I wanted to use something like a Splenda half and half, half artificial sugar, half sugar, I could still use that in my cranberries and cut the calories that way too. Sure. It's no problem, because even leave more calories out for you. The, some of the other options you have are sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes do not have to be made with by lots of butter and lots of sugar. Sweet potatoes are a perfectly wonderful food. Simply bake them, add a little bit of sugar and a little bit of brown, a little bit of brown sugar and a little bit of butter. Not a lot, just a little bit. The other option, if you're trying to cut down on saturated fat, olive oil is a wonderful fat to use to reduce your saturated fat content of your diet. And some of the other issues that you may want to consider will be using lower fat ingredients in some of your other recipes. One would be a non-fat yogurt to replace full fat sour cream. Mashed potatoes don't need to be made with sour cream. A low fat buttermilk works perfectly fine. Thanks Dr. Jones. So remember, you can still enjoy Thanksgiving dinner just try and think of some of the tips Dr. Jones gave you to help cut some of those calories. Don't feel guilty. You can always adjust your calories the days before Thanksgiving and the days after Thanksgiving. And remember to exercise. We want to balance your calories in with your calories out. So have a happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.